Last of the showers are moving down to the south. They're along 68 in West Virginia, Maryland, and they're still trying to finish up. But we're seeing some patches of blue over downtown Pittsburgh. This is a view off the top of Mount Washington. A gorgeous evening. We have these warm temperatures still. There is a touch of humidity still in the air here in Pittsburgh, but it is dropping. We've seen our dew point go down two degrees, which is good. But anytime you have your dew points in the low to mid 60s, it's still pretty sticky outside, especially if you're uh, caught in a sunbeam. We have 82 degrees, but that humidity is going to be dropping here and our temperatures they're starting to drop as well. Uh, temps from Beaver to Zealy up to Catanning are all in the upper 70s northward, but we still have the 80s in Pittsburgh and south. So that colder, drier air or I should say cooler, drier air is still trying to work in from the north, but you can see the dew points are in the 50s in Youngstown and Franklin and Cleveland and 50 degree dew points or dew points in the 50s are typically comfortable. So we're going to get into that range here in Pittsburgh, but you can see uh, going through tomorrow, we get another spike in that humidity before some thunderstorms on Sunday, and then we get through much of next week, at least the first half of it pretty comfortable before we see another big spike in those uh, humidity levels. But uh, when it comes to temperatures tonight, we're going down to about 60 in Pittsburgh, many spots north of town in the mid 50s. That's good window cracking weather right there, especially with the lower humidity coming into play. Uh, temps down to the south still in the low to mid 60s uh, from Pittsburgh southward. And then and tomorrow it's going to be another warm day, so shut the windows in the morning, uh, especially if you have an air conditioner because you don't want to get your house too hot and then have to, to try to cool it back down. But temperatures mid 80s for Pittsburgh. Many spots try to touch into the mid 80s for high temperatures tomorrow, and most of your Saturday comes in dry. And I say most because right at the very end of the day, as we're about to click over into Sunday, we see some rain trying to move in. Now this is a 6 p.m. snapshot, and you can see New Philly, Akron, Cleveland. That rain is over there. But uh, over the course of the evening, maybe a stray shower tries to cross over the state line. I don't think there's going to be too much. And I think most of the concerts going on tomorrow uh, are going to be OK. It's just the, the very end, uh, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, where you could see one of those quick showers trying to develop. But the better shot for rain is actually coming in on Sunday with the next disturbance. That'll give us a better shot for those showers and thunderstorms. But Slovene Fest, yeah, there's concerts going on, but there's also Slovene Fest going on in Enon Valley. Uh, uh, north of Pittsburgh, I think most of the weekend's looking good. Late Saturday, a shower of thunderstorm, and then Sunday, some showers and thunderstorms around as well. But the clouds are going to be decreasing tonight. More comfortable conditions take over, about 60 degrees for that low. And the next seven days, we get a little cool down for Sunday, but that's with some thunderstorms scattered around. And then we see those temperatures warm back up quite significantly for the middle of next week. We're talking some upper 80s returning with sunshine. Humidity coming back too, and that could trigger some thunderstorms come Thursday and Friday.